So I wish he was though. I know he was watching. Have you talked to him since the game ended? I haven't. No, I'm about to FaceTime him though. Um, how cool is it, you know, to do, for you to do this today, knowing, you know, that he did, he had a couple big wins here with you and State. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he went 2-0 and here in Carter Finley West. But, uh, you know, just having my first start and be able to go out there with the guys and get that W, I mean, it's it's the greatest feeling ever. I mean, being five weeks ago, being four-string quarterback, you know, just kind of messing around on scout team, still getting better, and then having those guys just still trust me when I came up came back up to the starting roster. I mean, it just means the world to have the support from, you know, the entire team. And, you know, we they just played so well. Defense, offensive line gave me so much time back there. It was like it was like I was just camping back there. It's awesome. Could you imagine three, four, five weeks ago? No. Be here this, I mean. No. I mean, we were talking, my roommate who uh, starts on our, uh, our artillery, which is just PAT and a field goal unit, we were like, dude, like first week ECU, there's no way we would have thought we'd both be starting, you know, you at UNC, and it's just it's surreal. Who is your roommate? Matt McCabe. He's the uh, he's one of the guards on our our artillery unit. Won both games in this what was that? He's won both of those games in this field goal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Can you describe kind of the the madness and the celebration of where you were and what you saw that kind of thing? I don't, I don't even really remember. <laughs> I was just running around trying to hug everyone. And uh, I think I grabbed an NC State flag and playing on the field or something, but uh, as I should have. How were, how, how were the nerves today? And I guess maybe that early pass to Devin. Yeah. Um, you know, you, the nerves go away when you take the first hit. And so that, I mean, it helped to get that, that lead at 7-0. But, uh, you know, leading up to the game, it was just, if you're not nervous and something's wrong with you, so I was, you know, I was a little nervous, but it's just football. People talk about your kind of connection with Devin Carter. It just felt like you, you always seem to know where he was out there. Yes, um, it's crazy. It's the first week week back in a while, and to be honest, I I haven't thrown a pass to Devin Carter in probably over a year and a half. <laughs> and so, and, and it was like it's like that with Thayer, Daryl. I've never thrown a pass to Daryl until uh, last last week in Louisville, and so. It's just kind of weird. It's like I'm playing on like an all-star team or something, you know? It's got ballers everywhere. How much of your first game maybe feel some of the pain this team's had given all the adversity you guys faced? Oh, we, I mean, we knew if we got this win at UNC, it would it would be a, a big old Band-Aid on the season. But, I mean, anytime you can, you know, beat your rivals, especially at their home on senior night, it's just huge. What is it about your personality where you haven't doubted yourself? You've handled, you know, a very difficult situation, but you are coming out on top from it. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You, you can never doubt your doubt yourself. I mean, that's just to be able to persevere is, you know, the biggest thing in life. Uh, things are going to happen to you and, you know, just fighting, keep climbing up the hill. And, you know, you can you're, you never reach the pinnacle of the, you know, the mountain. You just got to keep climbing and getting better. And, you know, that's what, what we do on scout team. It's just you know, what our entire team does. It's constantly fighting. Coach said that you, you being on the scout team helped you improve because you were going against this defense every week. How much did that help you, and what areas did that make you better in? Um, you know, it definitely helped with some of the throw windows and kind of being comfortable in the pocket, but it definitely it doesn't help with speed. I, I definitely thought the game was going to be pretty slow when I got out there last week in Louisville and this week. Uh, and it just, it wasn't because scout team, you know, you kind of let up and I don't get tackled. Like I, I haven't taken a hit in three years since, you know, this game. And so just kind of getting back into that, it helps you just get more comfortable. But I mean, my old line, I mean, I, I don't even look like I played a game. My jersey is like pristine white. And so, I mean, anytime you can go out there and just camp back there and just deliver balls is, you know, it's, it's a privilege, really. With the quarterback situation where it is, is that, did you ever consider transferring and maybe going somewhere else before? No. Um, I wanted to graduate from NC State, and that's that's huge. I'm graduating in December. That's going to be really important for me to get my degree here. Um, you know, I never tried to get in UC, but according to Drake, you know, I couldn't have. But <laughs> so I think it's it's good that I get a nice degree from NC State in uh, finance and let's go from there. Just, I had to find my parents. I mean, I love them so much. And, you know, they've just been such a big part of my life. 
growing up with them is, um, I mean, they're the best parents anyone could ask for and their constant support. I mean, even when I'm four string, they're coming to every single game and, um, you know, the last three years they haven't missed a game and that's just, I love them so much. And the, the least I can do is just go up there and celebrate with them. And, you know, definitely going to be continuing that celebration when I, when I go home. But, who, was, who was your go-to receiver on the scout team? Go-to receiver? It was um, Terrell. And then I got him moved up. We were just, we were just tearing up the defense, me and Terrell, or Terrell and I. And, uh, you know, he was bumped up. And then it was Jalen Coy. And we were, I mean, my tight ends were ballers. We were balling. We were, yeah. Wake Forest was fun, you know, that slow yeah. mesh and then just shutting our feet. Yeah. yeah. You remember, know. Like, remember, like, takes you. This is probably to a lot of state fans be the Ben Finley game. What does that mean to you? I mean, legacy wise, years from now. I mean, you know, I'm glad I could do that for him, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's it's a team win. I mean, I have made some mistakes, some crucial mistakes that I wish I could get back and I'm going to learn from it. But I mean, it was just the entire team. Started with Chris Dunn. I mean, Jack going in there and putting that one, uh, the first touchdown in, our defense just making stops. I mean, it was so fun watching our defense out there. But uh, no, I mean, this is just a, a big time NC State win that, you know, UNC senior day. It's not I mean, a Ben Finley win. You, you're you graduating, but you still have some more eligibility. Do you want to be this team's starting quarterback next year? Oh, yeah. I mean, I got three years of eligibility to play, which is crazy. I'm going to be in college just as long as my brother, <laughs> even though he was in college for like 20 years. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I want to keep playing football. I, I love this game, and I love this team. I love this school. Hey, guys. I got to get dressed. Forget that.